Alrighty, my friends, welcome to this episode of the Highway Prayers series. Billy String's new album, we're going through some of the solos. Um, this one, I'm going to be walking you through um, phrase by phrase, slow, the Leaning on a Traveling Song solo. So let's dive right in. Uh, I've got the amazing slow downer pulled up here, and we're going to start at 50% speed. Uh, I might do a whole other video on how to use the amazing slow downer um, so that you can work on things that are very difficult and slow them down and work them up to speed. But let's start and go phrase by phrase. We're going to start with the G run that leads into the solo. So that's always going to be our kind of setup for the, the solo. So we'll start with that G run. Let's pull it up here. So that's the straight up G run, down, down, up, slide. You can pick it too. That's one you want to just work on and have down. Uh, practicing that G run. And then the first phrase is, and it's interesting because that's the exact same first phrase as the first song, the first solo in the first song. Um, so you, as you learn someone's style, you start to see, oh, there's certain things that are thematic throughout their playing. This, this uh, opening uh, is one that he does in the first song as well. So that's the first lick. And then we got... That's going from the G to the G7. Now, the key is getting the right down and ups. You're always going to be doing alternate picking. If you do a slide or a pull off, you imagine like you picked it. So I'll give you an example. That hammer on there. I'm pretending like I went down up instead of just down. Because you pluck it down and you hammer it on and the hammer on is basically the upstroke. And then that is going to be an upstroke because it's on an offbeat. If you tap your foot there, that note is on an upbeat, so it's going to be an upstroke. That's the case all the time. Um, so think about that as you're learning things. That phrase starts on an upstroke. Up, up. Up, up, up. So a lot of these things are starting on an offbeat, which means they start with an upstroke. I'll play the whole thing slow. So that phrase you should get down. I'll play it one more time slow. That's the G7 chord. A nice way of doing a G7 chord is just... Pretty. On to the next phrase, which is over the C chord. Uh, let me play the first phrase to get into it. So, whole thing. That's the beginning of the next phrase. Down, down. Up. Starts with an up there. Up, up, down, up, down. Up, up, down, up, down. So the rhythm is classic kind of C lick, Doc Watson style thing. 
Now we're gonna move on to the second section of this C lick. That's how you get to the A. So I'm gonna play that all really slow. So that second part of that C lick is. Up, down, up. So that's up, down, up. And then the down is on the G string. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. And then we're moving to. Which is a great little way to move into the C. Up. Let me see. Yeah. Up, which is in the slide. Up stroke, slide. Up stroke on the G string. And then this is a classic kind of Tony Rice thing. A lot of people do it. Blues. We're uh, kind of thinking A minor pentatonic, which if you look at this shape, um, well, really B minor pentatonic. Just saying A because if you're thinking of this as a G, then this is an A, right? But we're actually, this is an A because we have the capo on two and this is a B. Some of you already know that, some of you don't. We go through these things for those who don't. Now, um, uh, this little. Nice little way to go into that A shape. So the whole C phrase. that phrase we're gonna move on I'm gonna give you some tips along the way I use an hourglass I learn the song by ear phrase by phrase going really slow the way that I break this into chunks and make it possible is I say hey I'm gonna work on uh, however many phrases I can learn in 15 minutes really slow this is a 15 minute hourglass I turn the hourglass on work on phrases until I'm done if I'm still inspired to keep playing after that 15 minutes I'll twist it around again and learn as many phrases I, I can learn in the solo till the 15 minutes is done. I might do that for one day, or one morning, say, and then I might work on it again in the evening. I'll do that as many hourglass sessions as I need to to learn all the phrases at a slow tempo. Once I've got that, then I'm going to start working on putting the phrases together at a slow tempo, using the hourglass again for 15-minute time slots. Then I'll go on and once I've got the whole solo at a slow tempo, then I'll do start doing 15 minute sessions on speeding it up and speeding it up. So this is kind of the methodology, uh, the way that I break it down into chunks. That's how you learn anything difficult. Break it down into chunks. Let's move on to the next chunk. We've got that uh, moving into the A, uh, from the G to the A. Now let's go to the next phrase. Let's hear, let's hear them play it. Do this again. So that's what we got so far. Now we're on the A chord and we're going to do another move here. Uh, by the way, for those of you who want a lesson on how to use the amazing slow down or put it in the comments because I'll I'll Put lessons on here based on what you guys actually want. Um, but let's move on. We, our next phrase is some nice little triads. We're, we're doing an A triad there, sliding into the major third. And we're playing that. Uh, now the picking, let me see. Up, down, up. Up, down, up. And we're sliding on that first up. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, up, up, down. Um, up, up, down. Same thing on here. Up, up, down. This is a G major triad. Uh, let's hear them play it. Um, let's uh, go through the whole thing up until this section. Go. 
now we're gonna do another, the same phrase on a higher triad. This is another, I'm calling it G. It's actually A, right? This is an A triad, um, uh, this one. But this, this first one we do is a B triad. Um, the reason why I'm saying A is because we're playing on a G shape and this is like an A shape, right? A shape, but it's, it's a B chord. So we got a B chord there and then we're going back to that G shape A chord. Uh, if you want more explanation on that, put it in the comments. Then we go to this high A triad. And we slide up to it and our picking is up, up, down. Up, up, down. So we got three of the same idea. So it's fun to take an idea and just put it in different spots, right? And then we're going up to the higher, uh, right, this little uh, arpeggio here. Uh, it's like a D shape or a C shape arpeggio, I mean. Um, so we go. Now that phrase I'm gonna break down for you. Um, so from here. A lot of you know pull uh, pull offs and hammer ons. I think just pull offs. That's a pull off, and you're plucking it up, down, up, down. Uh, let me see. Up, up, down, up, up, pull off. You got that first phrase, and then we got. Um, let's let's uh, start the amazing slow downer at that section. So we'll play up to that section. Uh. want to pause and learn that get the right down and up strokes watch the video pause it rewind it listen for where there's pull-offs you should be able to hear when it's a pull-off um, train your ears that way that's how you start learning things by ear is you kind of, you want to be able to hear when it's a pull off. You don't hear the pick attack. So something to listen for. Let's move on from that phrase. We've got this very cool mixolydian phrase because it's over the F. Um, we'll do some more theory type lessons another time. But when you're, when you're over the F shape, I should say F shape, it's a G chord. Um, the, another easier way of saying it is the, the flat seven chord. Um, in a, in a major key, you can use this mixolydian sound, but anyway, the actual lick is. It's the first part of the lick, all down and up strokes. Down, up, 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 down. Very fun. An interesting sound too over this G chord. Play it really slow. That's the the little uh, phrase to start it off there. And then we've got this cool uh, walk up. So similar shape on three strings. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then we move into the next section. So I'll put these two together. Moving into the next kind of.
kind of phrase. So let's pull this up here one more time, and I'm going to move the start of this up. Let's see. I'm going to start this here. Here we go. Now I'll show you what this next phrase is. Two note groupings. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now this is my favorite part. But put the, you know, learn that phrase, pause the video, put these two together. Moving on. This is an interesting little chromatic run here. Um, it goes. Uh, let me see. I gotta put it together. Uh, this this little. So. That's like an equal thing, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like three note uh, groupings. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, uh, let me see. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's really interesting, and you'll see it once you put it in context with the rest, because this last four notes, it just moves into doing that up all the strings. high E string you do something different but I'll show you this phrase here again so it might take you a second to get that but just coming from this two note groupings one two 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 three one two three one two three one two three that's kind of how I think about it. You can think about it however you want, as long as you get the notes. Uh, slow. And right from there, we're just going up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. Which is a great exercise if you ever practice that with a metronome. It's a great way to practice your coordination with the left and right hand. Let's hear it with the track. Uh, this is starting from... Might even slow it down a little bit more. This is 50% speed, by the way. Let's go to 45% speed. By the way, don't hesitate to go to 30% speed or slower. Um, that's how I would start because, but you know, we're we're just getting through the phrases here. So again, now I'm going to show you. Yeah. That's the next phrase. So coming from... We're moving into... Which is a G lick. Tony Rice. what I call it anyway. Uh, that's what I hear it as. So um, that's where we, that's, uh, let, let's start the amazing slow downer from maybe a later phrase. So let's go. Let's start it from right here. 
here. us into the last little section here. We're getting there. Okay, let's move on. We'll put the end a little bit further along here. Let's play this one more time. Here we go. Moving into the last section. A little blues lick up here. It's uh, this. It's kind of a little bluesy thing. Uh, but we're starting with an upstroke. We're sliding up to the 12th fret. And then we're sliding from the 11 to the 10 with an upstroke. Up, down, uh, up, 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 down, up, down, up, up, uh. Let me see if I can do it without speaking. That's the first section. Get that picking right, it's tricky. Because we're starting on an upbeat. And then we're sliding on an upbeat. Up. And then the next section, starting on an up as well. Up, up. And that's a pull-off. Up, pull-off, up. Remember when I talked about when you do a pull-off, it's like, think of it as you're doing a pluck. So you stay with the alternate picking. So if I go up, pull-off, up, the reason why I'm doing two ups in a row is because the pull-off was the down. So think of it like that. So we got... That little is a hammer on, down, 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 up. So we'll put this together. That's kind of the first section of it. Uh, let's hear it in context. That little is going to lead us into. We just want to get that phrase. And then it goes right into it, you know, like extending that phrase, but that's the first part. Next section. the next lick. This is over the E shape chord, the F sharp chord is the capo. Um, you could also say, uh, well, let's just go through it. So down, up, down, up, down, slide, down, down, up, down, up, down, slide, down. You can always break any of these little licks into sections. If you can't get the whole lick, break it into sections. Get. If you can get that, you can get. If you can get that, you can get. And so on. So that's that lick. This is over the that chord, the E shape. That's the 
last little tag on that lick. Up, down, up, up, down. Up, down, up, up, down. That's what leads us into the next section. So the next section um, is... So a little bit funky there. Um, starts with this kind of G run type lick. Starts with an up stroke. Start with just that. Let's play this with the slow downer. Up here. So, um, coming out of here, that beta, beta, then we're right into. So that's kind of a long lick, but you know, you can just get the start of it by going. It's the beginning part. Starts with an up. This little is the same as in terms of the picking. So just get that with the picking. And then finish it off, which is. That's the finishing of that section. finishing the entire thing with you can kind of bend that flat seven into the chords uh, so that whole section let's hear it up high This is at 44% on a speed on the amazing slow downer. You can set this up so that you can loop any little piece of the solo and any little piece that you loop, you can set it so that it increases 1% speed every time you repeat. So let's say you looped, um, let's say, well, I'll just show you what I mean. I'll loop just this section, just this lick. Just that little piece. So we're looping now. Actually, I'll even do less. Let's say I just want to do that lick. Okay, so we'll set it to increase 1% every time. it'll just keep getting faster until you're doing that lick up to speed. You can loop any section. So that's the beauty of this, um, this uh, technology. But those are all the licks. That's the tune. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. Uh, comment anything that you uh, want explained deeper, any tunes you want to hear. Um, I will make videos based on what I hear from you guys. So um, if I get some feedback, I'll, I'll make something and, and uh, hopefully it's helpful for you. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.